When you believe your child has a better understanding about anxiety and how it presents from reviewing the tools and worksheets provided in Part 1, you can move on to Part 2. The tools listed in Part 2 are behavioral, focusing on your child's actions. The objective over the next three sessions will be to help your child learn how to decrease unwanted physical signs of anxiety in the body by applying various relaxation tools. In addition, your child will learn how to create an exposure ladder, which will serve as a roadmap for all the things he or she will learn to do later on using tools taught in future sessions. In session four, your child will start learning to relax by learning how to use both calm breathing and muscle relaxation during times of anxiety. If your child prefers one relaxation tool more than the other, encourage your child to use the preferred tool. He or she does not need to use both tools. One is sufficient. Session 5 builds on the two learning to relax tools taught in Session 4. By encouraging your youth to practice these tools once or twice daily, as well as during times of anxiety, she or he will become an expert on keeping calm. Your youth will also be introduced to Facing My Fears, where he or she will learn all about having the courage to do exposure work. In session six, you and your youth will finish building an exposure ladder using the ladder worksheet and rank the steps on your youth's ladder from least to most scary. Don't be too concerned if it takes more than sessions five and six to complete the ladder. For youth with multiple areas of anxiety, you may need to create several ladders and this can take time to complete.